Earlier, we told you about the controversial new Common Core curriculum in our schools. It's forcing many schools to throw away their local standards and lets the feds step in with some, as some refer to them, uh, dumbed down standards. Many parents don't like it. But Secretary of Education Arne Duncan dismissed them, saying they're just, quote, white suburban moms who all of a sudden uh, their child isn't as brilliant as they thought they were and their school isn't quite as good as they thought they were and that's pretty scary duncan has since apologized in the last 24 hours but is it becoming acceptable for liberals to use race and gender as a sword to attack opponents in public policy debates peter johnson jr unfortunately it is on this on this uh, 150th anniversary of the gettysburg address when we're thinking about race when we're thinking about division and violence you see how kind of sick and disturbing it is it's become acceptable in this country that the notion of a suburban or a rural white woman uh, is ignorant, is racist, their viewpoints should be discredited, their viewpoints should be demonized, their viewpoints should not be given the credit that everyone else should be given credit for um, in this country. And unfortunately for many liberals, uh, that's their last refuge mm -hmm. in a public policy argument to resorting to this meme um, about uh, soccer moms, uh, Alice Sarah Palin, uh, suburban moms, white suburban moms. I mean, to that think is, that to, is sexist and it's racist. It's sexist, it's racist, it, it, it appeals to class, uh, it appeals to regional uh, conflict and regional divisions and, and, and anxieties, um, and, and it's totally wrong. The White House wouldn't speak out against it. The, Jay Carney, the press secretary, made believe he didn't know much about it. Yesterday, uh, we had kind of a half, uh, um, uh, half apology from Secretary Duncan, but right. it's become part of, unfortunately, and, and, and I've been a progressive at times in my life, the liberal meme in this country. Martin Bashir on another network had the, the, the nerve, the, the outrageous, disgusting nerve to suggest that, and I don't know how to put it, it's, it's early in the morning, that somehow people should do some kind of some private, private business to Sarah Palin. Yeah. Now, he's apologized for it, but it was out there. He's got a history of For days, crazy terrible stuff. things, but the NRA and other people. So when you get into race, you get into sex, you get into region, you get into class, and you start to divide people, especially if you're a public official, it's, 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 right. it's, it's, it's depraved. But here's the thing. There seems to be a double standard. Uh, it seems like liberals get away with it. It seems like conservatives uh, oftentimes get fired. There was no outcry with regard to Secretary Duncan. President Obama did not make a statement decrying this racist, sexist statement that the Secretary of Education made. The man who's supposed to be the model for all our children and our parents in this country in terms of equalizing the educational process to call upon a white suburban mom as being the voice of opposition to the Common Core, which has all kinds of problems, sure. that's wrong. And that's fundamentally un-American, and all Americans, liberal and conservatives, sure. need to speak out against it. No kidding. It's wrong. All right. Uh, Peter Johnson, Jr. Good Thank to see you, Steve. All right. What do you think about that? Email us, friends at foxnews.com. Meanwhile, 20 minutes